But they have 50 American dollars, that would be 100. Two tickets, right? 50 and 50. Yes. Yes, a little harder. If you don't hit it well, you don't get chocolate. <laughs> a little harder. <laughs> Today we are going to back to Maya Center, a little village that we passed by yesterday. And we're going to visit a chocolate factory. I'm looking forward to that. And it's beginning to rain. And that was a crux of our decision making for the day. Heavy downpours were once again forecast, so we'd left all our stuff at the hostel. Unfortunately, we'd overlooked some very important items. Yeah, the only day that we didn't bring any document. Oh well. Yes, we hadn't brought any form of identification or our driver's license with us. And now we were in trouble yeah. with the police. If one of you wants to go back to the hotel for yeah. for the stuff. You can go ahead and one of you needs to wait here. Sure. Okay. Oh, this is actually a photocopy of it. We're yeah. still going to find if we produce you the originals. <laughs> yeah, because it was not produced on oh. the time of the test. So can I go and get the, the, the money? <laughs> oh, wait here. So Davide left me behind as collateral while he went back to get her driver's license and money to pay the fine. We were raging at ourselves for being so foolish and getting a fine. But then we started to have another concern. Ow! Oh, you got the ticket! I got the tickets. I got the tickets, but they need to send us a receipt. So they only have my phone number, because we need a receipt to get through the border tomorrow. Why can't they give you a receipt now? Huh? You have to give us a receipt now. No, we got to do it in the office. Oh, okay. That's when I said I was going to take a picture and send you through WhatsApp. Yeah, that would be that's okay That's a perfect to get way the border, we can it? do it. Yeah, as long as we don't have any trouble at the border, that's all. No, yeah, that's no problem. We're going to give you WhatsApp. <clears throat> we'll be in the office the next hour, so by okay. 11 o'clock you get the receipt. So all right. No Thank you. So, but well, you don't need the documents then? You don't want the documents? No, you, you just want the money? Want it's always okay. I have American dollars. I don't have enough Belizean. Oh. Okay. I gotta change that shit because the government don't take American. Ah, they take it everywhere else. <laughs> they take it I'll everywhere. Change it. I'm gonna change it. You sure? Yeah, yeah, we normally change it for people there. Okay, thank you. Oh, super. There, because okay. I have only 85 um, uh, Belizean, but I have 50 American dollars. That would be 100. Two tickets, right? 50 and 50. $100. 50 and 50. Okay. No, that's, so, in the next yeah. hour, you're gonna get the WhatsApp. With the, re the receipt, okay. For both of you. Thank you. Oh, you. You have the station in town, in case there is any problem, we can come to the station. Yeah, but you're going to get it in the next hour, you get your okay. receipt. Okay. Lesson learned. It's always the first time, isn't it? <laughs> uh, we go back to the hostel because we're going to miss the tour at this stage. Oh, fuck. So we may as well go back and then go for the 11 o'clock tour. They have given us tickets, but we were really suspicious about their authenticity when they insisted on payment in full at the side of the road. We just weren't sure if we were going to see our receipts and we didn't want any trouble going through the border tomorrow. Oh well, that didn't go well, did it? No! <laughs> oh my god, what a pain in the ass. Oh well. And we normally always have all our documents with us. And they never, ever no. ask for the driving never license. Never ask for a driver's license. Anyway, and now we know. Now we know. And because of the rain and lightning ourselves to go on dirt roads and, and packing stuff, we just, we didn't have them. So, so we are a hundred dollar less yeah. by Belizean. I just, it just worries me. I hope that they do send the receipt. I mean, I know he kept saying, I have your WhatsApp number, but he scribbled it down. It's plus three, five, three. It's Irish. If not, we could drop in. If not, we need to go to the station and get the physical receipt. I would prefer that. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no point worrying about it now. We, we missed the nine o'clock tour, so <laughs> might as well okay. go and get another coffee. We'll get another coffee. Now, let's see if we try this again. 
Let's see if the police is still in the way. Now we have all the documents. And we will probably never ask for them again, ever. All right, let's go. Chocolate factory. Okay, should be here. All right. Yeah. We're here at Che Io, which is a Mayan chocolate farm which we're very excited about. So we're gonna go on a tour, which first we're gonna to go to the farm, see how they grow it, and then we're gonna come back and learn how to make Mayan chocolate. And then we get to eat it, which I'm yeah. very excited about. Sounds like a great plan. Yeah, if I could package the smell in this place, it's so yeah. delicious, and send it down the camera, I would, but we well, just have to enjoy it ourselves. Yeah, it's just here, even in the <laughs> car park, you can <laughs> smell the chocolate. Yeah. I can't wait to try it. Mm. Chocolate factory. The farm had a pretty muddy entrance. Okay, keep her, keep her steady. And I'm really not sure why they didn't let us hop in the van with the other tourists. But Davide was delighted for a bit of a muddy challenge. Put the feet down. Me? Not so much. Nice and muddy. But oh, it's okay, it's just a little slushy. Right? Good that we have good tires. It felt like the longest driveway in history. That's a bit of off road for you. But eventually we got there with both bikes still upright. That was good. <laughs> that was a bit wet. Okay. The farm dates back to Mayan times, and they've tried to preserve many of the traditions. We only started with two varieties. Now we have 25 varieties. However, they have also but expanded in response to increased demands for Mayan chocolate. It takes yeah. three months for a, 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 a the flowering to become something like this, to oh. become bigger and ripe. Now, I don't know about you, but I had no idea chocolate came from a fruit like this. Actually, I had no idea where it came from. Three months. After three months of growth, the fruit is collected by hand with a machete. And then it needs to be opened. So who wants to volunteer? All you need to do is take this right here and hit like that. Turn. Okay. You take the fruit and you start hitting. Yes, a little harder. If you don't hit it well, you don't get chocolate. <laughs> I will hurt you. I will hurt you. That's tougher than it looks. It cracks. Well, I started it for you. Yes. <laughs> now now oh. you can see the inner part. Wow. See, the inner part is that more is so like cool. milk. Yeah. It contains calcium, you know. Take a bean. Hmm. Hmm. The covering was milky and okay, sweet. Now I want you to take that bean right there. I would like you to bite it in half. <laughs> All right. And the but I want you to look inside the other half. Now you will see that it, the inner part is purple. Mm -hmm. The inside will be purple, and that is because there's nothing happened to it yet. There's no processing yet. The farmer collects all his beans. He would collect all the beans by, by hand. Now he would crack them open with the same type of wood. Now when it is open, he extracts all the beans by hand. Take this bean in a bucket, transport it to our home where we do fermentation. After it ferments, we take the beans in an open place like this where we put the tarp and we put the beans on top to spread. It becomes dry. So it takes the entire process takes about 14 days. Very interesting. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh -huh. There we are. Now the fun part. After 
we kicked off the next section with sampling the dried fermented beans. And you can either eat the entire bean if you like to, or if you just want to have a small taste from it, you can do so as well. Tastes like chocolate. Does it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Primitive form of chocolate, but uh -huh. bitter. Mm. Mm. So initially it tastes like only wood, and then it gets. Oh yeah, the flavor, smells like the, mm. the flavor comes out in a, in a few seconds. Then the beans are roasted. Here we do roasting for about an hour, and roasting is done the traditional mind way, which is on open fire. That and after that, they're crushed, and the shells are blown off. Leaving what is now known as your cacao nibs. So when you get the nibs, you can already begin to smell chocolate coming from it. Mm -hmm. And when you go ahead and taste it, you get more of that dark chocolate. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh. That is... Oh, wow. Mm. The smell of it. Yeah. Delicious. Mm. Mm. Let's make chocolate. The cocoa nibs are then ground down on a traditional Mayan grinding stone. And after seconds of grinding, you can start to see <laughs> and smell chocolate. So this is 100% 100 sugar-free chocolate. Okay. Wow, that can't get any better than this. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. If you want dark chocolate, you can't get any darker than this. Mm. It's dark, yeah. It's not sweet, but it's not no. that bitter. As no. It's really powerful yeah. taste. Then onto the crushed cocoa nibs, sugar is added. So if I'm to mix this right here, it's just going to be dry and chunky, so you don't want that. So what we are going to do now is we're going to add some oil in there. And then chocolate oil, sure, which is really better oil. known as cocoa butter. Ah, oh, get you. Okay. Chocolate oil is cocoa, cocoa butter. butter. That's all mixed and then allowed to set, and chocolate is made. Look at that. And your chocolate is ready. Mm. Really good. Mm -hmm. Really good. 85% chocolate, 100% It's still not really smooth. <laughs> a lot like it is mm. with I'll get it, there you go, Safe to say that got our approval, and we'd even forgotten about our fine from the police. Thanks for everything. Now, back home for a little. Don't get stopped by the police. But on the way home, you'll never guess who we bumped into. <laughs> Let's see if she remembers it. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> Hello again. Well, they did remember us, and they told us there was something waiting for us back at the hostel. So we came back to the hostel, and the police had dropped in to leave our receipt for our fine. <laughs> yeah. That they couldn't give us on this on the road when they when they stopped us, and we paid the fine, but they couldn't give us a receipt, so they dropped it here for us. So we have no problem to cross the border, just in case. They, at the border they find out that we have fine and they can't prove that we paid the fine before leaving the country. So, thank you. <laughs> we would have preferred if it was our $100 back, but I guess the receipts will just have to do.